Hello YouTube. So a few days ago I found out that the passenger side front strut was uh, leaking. And so I went to uh, cars-part.com website and uh, I bought a used strut. And this is a, again, 2006 Saab 93. And I'm in the process of uh, changing out the, uh, the strut and uh, so here is the old one uh, you can see there's a little bit of an oily film that's on the outside of the of the strut and uh, yeah it's clearly uh, leaking and um, so really I uh, what I wanted to do was not so much um, talk about how to replace the strut but uh, how I got the uh, all these rusty uh, bolts uh, off the vehicle and this is probably in the past this is the most uh, troublesome um, nut where it is attached to the uh, sway bar link and this is a known problem for sobs where they fail and so this is uh, one that's been on there for about four years now um, the car is a 2006 so you know this is a replacement this is actually a second replacement and um, how I got it off was um, I used uh, a lot of uh, PB Blaster. Uh, actually, the night before, uh, I sprayed it uh, with uh, PB, PB, uh, PB Blaster on the uh, on the outside of the thread. And then uh, this is a uh, 18 millimeter um, bolt or nut. And so here's the uh, here's the weapon that I used is the uh, Ryobi uh, impact wrench and um, I've got the I think this is the four hour uh, battery yeah so yeah I uh, I put the uh, basically put the uh, put the wrench on there and uh, yeah I'm telling you I've already gotten it off now but uh, it took it uh, it took it off. so uh, uh, that was quite a feat. Um, it was uh, also successful in removing uh, the bolts that are attaching the, the strut to the knuckle and I got those off as well using the Ry Ryobi. Uh, the bottom one, uh, the, the top one came off with no problem. The bottom one, um, I think the, uh, the angle of the tool uh, wasn't quite right so uh, I had to get that one off uh, with a uh, 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 what do you call that bricker bar and uh, so yeah so that's pretty much it and uh, in the process of changing it and uh, looking like uh, things should be okay now with the uh, with all the bolts uh, coming off and uh, the strut that I bought um, don't pay attention to the uh, spray paint that's just the uh, uh, salvage yard you know painting parts to make sure that uh, they have some ID on it and uh, so yeah um, I made sure that I matched up the strut uh, model number uh, part number and the uh, and the color code that's uh, attached that's on there so this is a uh, what they call a uh, orange and uh, and purple color um, so yeah I just wanted to uh, just kind of do a little testimony about uh, especially this tool uh, Ryobi with impact wrench and uh, let me see what the model number is on this thing uh, now you can see it right so yeah that's pretty much it and thanks for watching uh, if you like the videos that I've been uh, posting uh, please subscribe and uh, and like and uh, God bless you I'll talk to you soon all right and uh, goodbye